morning guys welcome to another video it's going to be a very relaxed video again i'm gonna go in the city gonna pick up my driver's license i have to also create some content for my web shop i need to pick up some clothing from the dry cleaners i wanted to create some fun pictures with the new cardigan that i bought at that vintage store remember i told you about so this is the cardigan i'm wearing it right now it's so so warm i'm so happy i'm also thinking of getting thermal wear my friend told me she got some nice ones from Uniqlo. She said that it was super like next level advanced, very thin materials that keep you warm, which I love because I have to always put on so many layers to feel like warm. I think that would be a big solution for me for the for the colder days. My cat is being funny again. She is just dreamy and she's like looking outside of the window. Looking outside. Mm. Cutie, cutie. I'm gonna get going. I see that snow is sitting next to me. <laughs> Still looking outside the window. Oh, I also need I also need to clean up my house. Also with having cats, like in one or two days, there's hair everywhere. Also on me, but also like everywhere. And I need to also brush them actually because they're shedding a lot of hair again. Maybe it's because of the season changing. My little ones know she has a lot, a lot of hair. Look, snow, snow. <laughs> Say hello, say hello, say hello. So cute. Give it over, yeah. Give it over. Don't mind the mess in the background. I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna take you with me. So, let's go. <laughs> in my electric car so I'm walking outside and I can't believe the beauty of autumn in Amsterdam I just walked by a few houses and the leaves are changing it's wow it's so so beautiful so I picked up my driver's license I picked up my dry cleaners I wanted to also go to Uniqlo to look at the thermal clothing but honestly I'm not in the mood to go to the city it's really busy of course it's easier to you know order things online and wait for it it's really not far away I should just go and have a look I still need to have some lunch later but I quickly bought this raw bite with apple cinnamon it's a nut bar I haven't tried this one before I'm gonna try it and we'll let you know what I think oh it's very hard it smells like apple cake very like healthy taste a bit heavy, a lot of nuts. Normally I don't like too much nuts, too many nuts. Yeah, I think I only will need a few bites and I will be full. Hey guys, so yesterday I went to a few vintage stores. I found a few very nice things well actually one thing i tried on many things but then i found one thing that i really loved something that i have been looking for for a while now i'm going to do a little haul of the items that i purchased yesterday let's start i told you yesterday that i first actually went to the uniqlo store because my friend she told me she had very nice thin thermal wear that she bought there she really had a very nice thin wrapped top also a little rib in it this one i could not find i also asked the sales assistant and they just could not find it for me so i ended up going to the thermal department and i found some other nice things which came in handy for the colder weather these items are actually also very thin and i'm surprised also how nice they look so first i got this heat tech beige a scoop neck a long sleeve i think it's a very nice color i will put it on so you can see how it looks and i think it's such a good basic and it's very thin and you can wear it underneath 
all of your warm sweaters in the winter i think it's perfect then i also decided to get the leggings and this feels also like you're wearing nothing it's perfect for underneath your jeans for instance so i think i will be wearing this a lot too i also have the scoop neckline long sleeve in the heat tech fabric in black because yeah black is such a good color for your black sweaters underneath yeah i think it's a good staple piece to have very happy with it too i also forgot to mention that i also got this basic black turtleneck perfect with jeans feels good also the quality feels really really nice i think it's a good staple piece too then like i mentioned i wasn't really planning to go to a vintage store but it was in the neighborhood and i just walked in because i thought hey let's have a look i went into the first vintage store i fitted some leather jackets there which were really nice there was a long one and one a bit shorter one and i have something similar in vegan leather too but then in a brown color it really gives this very like cool 90s look it feels very strange to say the energy of this jacket was a bit strange to me I don't know, I felt weird vibe around it. So I actually didn't take it because of that, but it looked really beautiful. So I left it there. So then I went to another store, the Spiegelgracht. It's like a museum quarter kind of area. They have a lot of nice like vintage stores and also nice art galleries. It's a really fun street, very crowded, but really nice too. There, I tried on some men's leather jackets in black really liked the fits because i was looking for like an oversized cool look it's difficult to find the right length size all of these things in one jacket for me so when i tried on the men's jacket they were like oversized but like next level oversized i felt sloppy when i was wearing it i don't know if you know what i mean i walked a bit further in the store in the back i saw a few women's leather jackets i immediately saw this one jacket that caught my eye and i was like whoa the energy was good like it was almost talking to me and saying like pick me try me and that's what i did i tried on this jacket and i fell in love instantly the fit was perfect it was oversized was fitting like a glove basically and it's this one it has this elastic type of band a bit like a bomber jacket hemline which i think is really really nice detail and some zippers on the front panel and then you have also some top stitching here as you can see and quite a lot of pockets so a pocket with a zipper and also a hidden pocket on the side i think that's a very nice thing because even today when i was outside i was wearing it i actually put my camera my small vlogging camera i put it in this pocket and it fitted perfectly and it felt safe too what i also like is that it has a lining that is a bit more thick so it's quite warm too Ugh, i am in love with it i think it looks stunning the only thing I don't like as much is that it has this vintage store smell. I still want to do something about it. So anyway, I'm going to sage the new items that I bought because I think it's nice to clear the energy from vintage fashion. I like to clear it. So it has kind of a new beginning, a new start. It has this smell. So I think I'm going to put it in the bathroom, around the shower with a lot of steam and use maybe some essential oils so that it gets a bit of another smell. Yeah, love it. As you know, I mentioned in my previous vlog that I was looking for loafers and I told you that I was interested in the Gucci loafers or the Margiela loafers and one way I wanted or the Gucci loafers or the Margiela loafers or something a bit more affordable that was what I was looking into I could not really find loafers that were this middle segment for now gucci loafers for me are like a long-term plan or even the margella like it's something that it's more of an uh, investment piece i also just wanted to wear loafers right now in this moment i went to the philippa k store i wanted to see if they would have some loafers there because this is more of a mid segment type of store and to see you know if they have some good quality loafers that i could wear they did not have any loafers they mainly had boots i spoke with the guy in the store and he gave me a very nice tip he said to me like yeah i have really nice ones 
from a certain brand that he bought in the ninth streets at a cute small boutique and then he gave me advice to go and have a look there yeah i immediately went there because i was really curious to see how these shoes look in real life when someone so stylish recommends something to you somehow i thought i have to go there and have a look so i was influenced by him i think I went to the store and i saw like several types of these shoes weyuns weyuns it's from the company gh bass and co they exist for a long time i looked them up on instagram and they had multiple colors and sizes they had the classic ones the more chunky ones and i tried both i tried the classic one in black and the chunky one also in black and then they also had one pair with like black and white so the front was white the whole other part of the shoe was black they were also very very cute wanted to go for a little bit more of slightly edgy look still so i went for the chunky ones and i bought them i think they're very beautiful i think they're a classic but then a bit chunkier so i feel like i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them it's these yeah you see the heel is a little bit here a bit of a block heel i feel also like i'm a bit taller when i wear them because i'm not as tall so i really like to have these like a chunky sole like this because it makes me look a bit taller it's something that i love yeah i thought it's quite nice to invest in something that is in the mid-range i feel that if i would buy it high street that it may not last that's why i went for these the quality looks really good the guy in the store told me i have the shoes i love them but at the beginning they really really hurt a lot then i went to this other store that i told you about in the ninth streets and the girl told me yeah they're amazing i wear them every day but they hurt so much in the beginning she says you will have blisters in the beginning please be prepared for that so i noticed that i was walking with them today and i thought why am i doing this to myself it's really a style that I'm going to wear over and over again of the shoes. So that's why I was trying to really like push through today. Really try to wear them. Especially this part hurts like hell. Anyway, this was my haul of the items that I recently purchased. I'm now going to continue and prepare some looks for my webshop Numenon. That I want to make pictures of tomorrow for the Instagram page and also for the newsletters. Tomorrow I'm going to shoot it at another location, so I want to pack everything and prepare everything for tomorrow. And then later I'm going to relax a bit in the evening, play with my cats and chill out a bit. So I see also the light is changing. I'm just sitting near the window, but I see that I'm becoming <laughs> more blue every minute. Meanwhile, the cats are chilling so much. Look at snow, she's just chilling. Relaxing. Hey, hello, hello. Hey, kleine Frau. Hey. And then we have another one, big baby, over here. Hey, Melden. And he has these very cute boots. Hey, your pussy boots. Puss in boots. Hmm? So today is content day for my web shop and I'm taking a suitcase, two big bags and boots and yeah, try to record and photograph as many outfits as possible. Hey guys, it's a Sunday. We are on our way to another office, and that's the office of my boyfriend. Hello, Terence. Hello, hello. <laughs> so we both gonna work today on our own thing. So he's gonna work on his project, and I'm going to create content because the location is really nice. It's a bit industrial, so you can really make nice pictures there because it's quite minimal, and it has this I don't know nice energy that it's open space, a lot of space around you, which I really love. I love making pictures in the city center of Amsterdam, but I also like these open spaces. Yeah, I think it creates a very nice vibe. Today I'm wearing a vintage jacket, which I'm actually 
planning to sell. But then I made a picture to sell it on Vinted. I realized that it actually looks really nice. So we'll see about that. Might uh, also make a picture with the jacket uh, too. It's a fake fur jacket and it has like a three quarter sleeve and it's like a short version. It's the next day and today I'm not gonna do a lot of creative work today it's more about the payments working behind the computer answering emails and doing some admin work as well also I want to do some editing some planning for the content for Numenon and my private page also I'm going to edit this video so it will be up for you guys I want to keep up the schedule of once per week because I think it's really fun uh, vlogging and taking you along with me I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed the couple of days with me. I wish you a lovely week and I see you next time. Big kiss. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.